Welcome back. Chapter 6 Process Man and Payroll. In this chapter, you will learn how to process a payroll for month end or second half. You will read the summary and the detail of the process payroll. Later, we will commit the process payroll. Next, we will read some of the report related to process payroll. Then we come back and uncommit the committed process payroll. Last, we will delete the existing process payroll. Let's begin. Click at Payroll, Payroll Management, Payroll Process. If you look at the last period, it's March. It does make sense because we will start from April. So click at New Process Payroll on top here on your right. Select payroll type is month end. First half is half month. Month end is the one that we are going to choose. Leave the description part empty. Select month, April, year is current year. And the filter option blank, meaning we'll get all employee into process payroll for April. And click process. Right, new process payroll created successfully. This is your summary. It will show you the numbers of employee, the net total pay, and your cut off date. So the second bar will be your statutory payment related to government payment. Then at the bottom is the list of employee you select one, two, three. 4, 5. Why 5? Count is 6 because you need to click 10 in order for it to show or else it will only show you 5. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now this is a summary for process payroll. Now we look at the detail. Click at next to summary. There is a tab called detail. Here, if you want to look at individual detail of every employee like example i have apa pun boleh now we click iron man it will change cindy louder sweet jinjing tom cruise and Google. that will be all of the details for every employee once you commit then it means there is no more further changes then you can start printing your pay slip and you can move on to next um, following month transaction if let's say you want to uncommit you just click at the button of uncommit all click yes uncommit successfully now you go back to the list of process payroll so it will show you the current month which is April for our previous month is March uh, I want you to delete the month end second half process payroll and click delete click yes don't worry because we will repeat the routine the process of process payroll several times you will, i will get you familiar with the process that's the end of chapter six next is chapter seven calendar and branch